His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue. Oh, he hurt. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that one. All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Well, if you're just getting into fighting and you're looking for a fighter to support, you can do worse than Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Really a guy who's easy to root for and coming off some of the biggest wins of his career recently. He is starting to get everything right. For as long as Jorge Masvidal has been in this game, you always had the feeling that there was still work to be done in order to truly reach his optimal form. I feel like now he's finally getting it. And people overlook the fighter's mentality of Jorge Masvidal. We talk about Kimball Slice in the back there fighting. But Jorge Masvidal was right next to him. Right. He was back there fighting just for the sake of fighting. And he has done that in the octagon, and now he's finally putting it all together as he tries to make his way to a UFC title fight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Masvidal is four years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway. And it's really interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who's really doing it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land on the impact. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that 
want it all. Big elbow lands wrong side of the guard. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Ooh, what a punch. He blocked the punch. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Dan Diaz. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Masvidal. My goodness! Goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Fighters back to their feet here. And they separate. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Hospital's lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. Big body kick land. Big punch lands through the middle. Flush right hand is true. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. That punch no good. Tags him with a flush left. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Sneaky head kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And he landed the right hand there. Now we're going. Single leg takedown. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Double jab there by Lou. Oh, Masvidal on a real flow here, sticking and moving. The crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. When you think you got him trapped, try to hit the board takedown, he evades your escape. Phenomenal fighter. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands the right hand. Elbows only tonight. What? Great takedown defense by Masvidal. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And now Masvidal's another kick landed there. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Lee's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Masvidal's slower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm. Oh! Big elbow there. Oh! Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big foot land over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one up? Come on, buddy. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Kind of just the floor. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue. Oh, he's hurt. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that one. Well, he's up, but he is hurt for certain. The finish could come at any time. Lands with a right hand. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, it lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson, or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy uppercut. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready. Ready. Third round fight. underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. There's no give on that leg kick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, that is a killer jab there from Jorge Gainbert. Masvidal, big picture, might be the best boxer on this roster. I mean, he may just be the best boxer on this roster. From Miami, Florida, Cuban heritage, a guy that personifies Miami, and he's putting on a Miami-type performance tonight. Flashy and beautiful. Great job by Jorge. Oh, a big move. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he is off, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. He's getting oh. lit up right now. He's got him here. Back to the feet. Oh, nice. Oh, the connection with another uppercut. I'm surprised his opponent's head stayed on his body after he that. He won't be able to take many blood. A fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you. For the bottom fighter, what does he need to do? He needs to secure his... That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Those guys landing with conviction now. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called the stop to this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh!